Hey guys, this is Rodrigo Monet, and I'm back again with a new poem. This one is called Love Insurance. <sighs> this is one of those love songs that you hear in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, right. This is one of those love songs that you hear in the middle of the day. And no matter what they play, you'll find a way to relate it to your baby. Because you're at that point where you only think of you and him and how much time you'll spend when you're together, connecting, relaxing, relating, communicating. Like one plus one is one? See, because love makes you dumb. It's the only shit I write because love made me numb to all of those other emotions that I can't even think of. See, love's the one that holds all of them, but will never show all of them. And all the days before love will be things you'll have to dream of. Because you won't remember that shit whenever love chooses to hit. More like a car accident. You didn't know it, but you bumped into it, caused a dent, and now you're spent because your insurance won't cover it. <laughs> you know? Why don't they have love insurance? You can get hurt by it. Some people never get over the effects of it. And love can lead to physical pain. If the thought is manifested correctly by the euphoric Leo. How come no one pays for love? I'm talking about fees other than alimony. I mean, why can't I get a love check? It should tide me over for when I run out of sick days and need leave without pay. It could cover trips back home to see my mama and dinners ordered out that are soon to go to a large family. Really? The check could probably be forwarded to Ben and Jerry since Rocky Road is the only troll in their factory. Or maybe the check should be given to the good guys. You know, the ones who take cheaters in stride and deal with all the lies and never once raise their hand to a woman, even when she acts like a man. <laughs> well, if love insurance can handle it, then I'm sure the sexist is split it. But, of course, women would still get most of the benefits. You know what? Why isn't there a handbook written about love? I'd write one and it will fail because it seems that I keep falling in and out of love. <laughs> so my only mission is this, to congratulate those feeling bliss. And although you may be temporary, temporarily stupid, <laughs> another dose of loving is just not going to do. I'll pioneer the lover's insurance company so that we can be comfortable when it's through. And to all of you who out there who have yet to find love, don't fret. Because when you find the one, he'll fit you like a glove. <laughs> so how about that? You guys interested in some insurance?